This week marks the 148th anniversary of the Great Fire in Northeast Wisconsin. That fire burnt much of the Pashtigo area and southern Door County. This weekend, the Belgian Heritage Center is remembering the hundreds of lives lost. NBC 26's Juliana Falk takes us to the site of the deadly blaze. October 8th, 1871. The same day flames were burning in Chicago, they were taking the lives of hundreds in Wisconsin. Birds were falling out of the sky because they couldn't stand the heat. And we could feel the fire continue to approach. Barb Chisholm, the historian for the Belgian Heritage Center, knows a lot about the fire. Her great grandparents survived it. She says 1871 was a very dry year and seeing a fire wasn't uncommon. But the Great Fire, was something entirely different. If you were in that area, in that area or in its path, you were destined. On the Peshtigo side, Chrisom says the fire started just north of Green Bay. On the other side, it started in New Franken and stopped just before Sturgeon Bay. And just down the road from the Belgian Heritage Center is this park, Tornado Memorial County Park. It's where the village of Williamsonville was during the fire. And this well is where seven people tried to hide from the flames. Only five of them made it out alive. I don't think people in this area realize how devastating it was. Their relatives, a lot of them didn't talk about it. And that's why Chisholm is sharing the story. Many who came out to listen were in awe. I, I think for me the, the, um, the most interesting part was this is her family member. This was, you know, these were stories that she heard about her family and the way she brought that to life. But on October 9th, it rained. Just look around and appreciate, again, how much they came from total destruction to the community that there is today. In Brussels, Juliana Falk, NBC 26. And as you drive through that area, you may notice a lot of red brick houses. That's because when people rebuilt their homes, they wanted to make sure they wouldn't lose them again.